Hello everybody, Hellstein here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the GM Command Space Tape from Gundam 0083. Now I was able to pre-order this from Gundam, uh, USA Gundam Store for uh, $69.59, but as of now they are sold out. But if you still want to, but if you want to get one, you can go to Big Bad Toy Store and you can pay $74.99. Um, and I'm not, I'm not sponsored by these guys. I just like to, you know, let people know where you can go to get them and things like that. Uh, now, you can try Amazon, too, I guess. But you're going to probably pay, like, let's say, say for Big Bad Toy Story, $74.99. They probably charge you about 85 bucks, you know, so they can make a little bit of money. Um, but now, also, with that being said, I'm not saying Amazon is a bad place to go to buy guns. Well, you can go there, and sometimes you can get cheaper there than anywhere else. Especially, like, if you're trying to want to uh, buy um, a P-Bandai that is... You can't find nowhere else. Go to uh, Amazon. You might find one for you know a decent price. Now they're not going to be cheap, cheap like you know uh, twenty dollars, but say something like this over here, like eighty five bucks. I mean, I know that's not cheap for most, but I mean, if you have the money where you can't afford it, then it's not that bad. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do a little panorama of the box. It's not I mean it's you know P band uh, as uh, most of these have been re recently and. I do hope to do some other kits. I finally started getting in the drive to do it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see on the box, you get a picture of the GM Command. Two pictures, uh, two of them on there. And then over here, probably can't see it, but it's another GM. And then you got a GM down here at the bottom. Let me pick this up for you. So you got a GM down there. And then you got another GM right there with the bazooka. Now I have the GM, and I have it with bazooka in one hand and with the beam gun in the other. Boy, I have them, I mean... I also have the shield for him. Anyway, I'm going on about something else. So let's go ahead and get a panorama of this guy right here. All right, first thing we're going to see, this is the bottom. This is the right side of the box. Top and the left side. And see, the uh, left side is different. I don't know why it is because we got the warning. Uh, you can get it for uh, retail is 3,500 yen. All right, now we're going to start looking at the bags. The first bag you get is red and you got gray for inner frame. You get your stickers in there. Second bag, some white and some more gray for the inner side of the legs and outside of the legs. Get the outside of the gun, the hands for the mobile suit itself. Some more gray runners with a poly caps in the middle. Get another one with two uh, runners, your stickers and your uh, beam effect parts. Then we get this one with gray, red, and green. For some more inner frame and other body parts. And then we get with the white bag. Well, the bag with white runners in it. And we get another bag with gray runners. Last but not least, another bag with gray and white runners in it. They even give you the regular old gun with it. Just in case you wanted to have it with it instead of the beam gun, which... If you have the thing, kick, why would you want it with anything else but the beam gun? Or you can have it dual wielding. That'd be cool. Alrighty, sorry if it's a little dark. I had to get rid of the above me light because it kind of gets in the way of the video. I mean, of the picture. So, let's go ahead. See, this is the manual. Go ahead and open up. You get the front. You get the two GM commands. You get two regular GMs. You just flip it over. You got the front and back view. This is the model that uh, Mancha, they had their names a minute ago, I can't even remember their names. Um, I know Mancha and uh, Burning are the only two that I can think of. And then you got uh, Burton Adele, that's it. Burton Adele, which, I mean, nah. What One was Gun Cannon guy, and the other one was the um, other GM Custom. I think about the uh, Adele guy. Remind me, he, uh, if you watched uh, Zeta, the dude that did the uh, Rick Diaz, they kind of looked about the same. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I mean that's that's. I mean, he looked like him to me. I thought that was him when I first start watched the show. But anyway, let's go ahead and look and see in the manual. See, you can see all your runners and all that nice stuff. There's 18 in there, plus your two sticker sheets. So it's usually what you start with is the body. Sorry if y'all can't see that. Definitely need a better camera because this one right here does not autofocus itself. I have to focus it every time. Anyway, 
You start with the body. It's always fun. Then you get the head, and then some more of the body. Head. Then you get with the arms. Then you get more arms. Of course, I'm putting arms and everything like that onto the body. And then you start getting the waist. And you get some legs. And some more leg. And some more leg. And all kinds of legs. And then the last thing you start putting together is the backpack. And then you start with the guns and all that nice little stuff. And then you basically get the useless gun and the cool gun that everybody's going to have it with. Uh, like I said, unless you want to do it, and then you can have it both cool ways. And then the shield and how you do all that stuff. That's it for the manual, so we'll go ahead and start getting into the runners. This is runner A, you got gray and white. Runner B, all red, you got some of the feet and the shield and body part. Runner C, some of the front skirt and the shield. Runner D2, and we have two of that runner right there. Now we have runner E1 and runner E2, which is this part of the runner right there. Now we got runner F, some of the leg and feet and shield parts. Runner H, some of the uh, pistons and uh, waist body parts. Runner I has 2.0 on it, so this is for the GM 2.0. Runner J, which is also from the GM 2.0. Runner L, gray for the inner frame, red for the body, and then the green for the visor. Runner M1, the gun parts. Runner N1, I'm guessing this is just for this one. N2 is this part of the runner right there. Runner MP for the uh, hands. Runner WP for the machine gun that comes with it. Polycaps and your sword effect. Here are your water slides and your green stickers. All right, that is it for the unboxing on the GM Command Space Type. Uh, as of recording this video, I've been working on the GM2. And to be honest with you, I, uh, I put together the GM uh, 2.0 and I haven't got bored. I didn't get bored of putting that one together. So I'm not really getting bored of putting the GM2 together either. So this one should be a pretty good, um, you know, model to put together. Uh, you know, Zaku really had, I mean, I, I don't know him, but uh, I watched like a few of his videos, and he says he likes putting the Zaku um, Origins together, because they're all basically the same, but they're still fun to put together. And that's about how I feel with these, they're still pretty good to put together. Uh, the only one I have that I've been putting together, that I've ever put together, that I have, that kind of annoyed me would be the um, camper, because you kind of hold the parts just to put it together. Um, but you know, that's my problem, so I'll have to deal with it. I'm still working on it, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm just going ahead in this video now. I'm getting tired of kind of holding the HDMI cord into the camera. Um, but anyway, talk to y'all later, and uh, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll talk to y'all later. Hellsting signing out. Bye. Memories are all inside you, and you never met them. I can feel